Hi everyone, this is Annalisa. Welcome back. You know, something we don't talk about nearly enough is how important it is to make sure that your pillow is as flat as can be, but not just flat, make sure it's even when you're doing a swipe. Um, when you are adding on your colors, you want to make sure that to some extent it's, um, it's all leveled and even. Um, because when you're swiping, you don't want low spots. And it, but at the same time, you don't want so much paint that you are going to have everything spilling off your canvas and overstretch your cells. It just, it needs to have the right amount of pillow. So you want to make sure it gets to the edge, but only has like a very thin amount so that it has enough to pull it, but not so much that it's going to stretch your cells well beyond what they should because then they just don't look quite as good. I always like to add my interference colors on the bottom when I do these kinds of swipes because they just add like a really good base for them. It kind of makes everything pop and stand out a bit more. And so, you know, my interference blue and my interference violet and then northern lights, those are all colors that have interference properties in them. And then a color that does not get nearly enough attention, in my honest opinion, is yellow. I really like this color as a Dora because it is like bold, bright, um, maybe like sunshine. <laughs> it's, it's just a really bright yellow. And originally I really was not a fan of yellow. And so I avoided it for probably the first year of pouring, but I decided that I was not going to let any color hold me back. And so I was going to try every single color I possibly could. And I was going to try different variations because just one try um, with certain shades isn't enough. You can have 50 shades of blue, you can have 50 shades of pink, you can have 50 shades of any color, so it wasn't fair to put yellow into that class. And I found through experimentation that I really like bright yellows. More specifically, I like them on a bottom layer of um, a pour that has a black pillow. They just make everything bold and stand out. Um, if I'm going to use darker colors, I tend to put them um, in the middle because they, um, they have the interference on the bottom to kind of keep them from taking up so much. But then I'm adding some lighter colors on top to make sure that they don't completely wash out my, um, my swipe or my pour or my bloom, whichever. I'm doing um, with a swipe with um, with a full canvas swipe like what I'm doing today I always like to make sure that I have a really good amount of colors all over the place it um, if you have it in just one small section or you have it in lines they just don't swipe out as well. I also like to go through and make sure that I kind of level it out again because like I said, when you're doing a swipe, you want to make sure that everything is even as possible. Um, it just makes your palette knife slide that much, your palette knife or your, um, I forgot in this case, I actually used playing cards. Um, it makes it so that you are not having dips. So I took a playing card and I cut it in half and I double layered my cell activator. I used Amsterdam black and Amsterdam pearl white. I don't know what it is about the pearl white. I just really like that as a cell activator more so than regular Amsterdam white. It just, I think it's the shimmer factor, honestly. I think that's probably what it is. I'm 
just that obsessed with shimmery, shiny things. Um, when I was doing these, I kind of wasn't entirely sure where it was going with um, the random. Because normally when I set out to do it, I try to do everything as even and equal as possible. But with this, I just kind of started swiping. And I didn't quite think it through all the way. I just, like I said, quite literally swiped. And sometimes the best pores come out of just swiping. And that's kind of what happened here. I really like the way that the colors... Um, end up at the end. Um, keep in mind between each swipe I have um, played everything three times the speed so a swipe is at regular speed but in between I wanted to make sure you guys could see the cells forming and so I sped them up. I just I couldn't cut out any bit of cells forming. It was just too pretty. I hope you enjoy them as well. So I find with these playing cards, um, I get maybe three swipes uh, for each card. I really don't like to use them beyond that, but I also find my playing cards at the secondhand store. That seems to be the absolute best place to find them because you can get packs and it doesn't matter if they're all there or not. All that matters is that they're clean and so many people get playing cards and then lose a few and then decide to get rid of them. I don't know why but our secondhand store got a large amount of them a few months back and so my kids both ended up with them. They didn't actually pay attention to whether or not they had everything they just got them and I ended up with several of them. So this is what they ended up used for. So I was trying really hard not to go over the swipes that I had already made because I wanted to, um, I didn't want to muddle any of the existing swipes. So there were a few instances where I did need to go over because things didn't, um, they didn't show up the way that I had intended them to. And so when that happens, you really don't have another choice. You just kind of have to do it uh, or risk not having it really work. Um, see, this is the point where I hit where I'm like, okay, so <laughs> one side has lots of swipes and the other side has nothing. How do I make it so this other side has swipes? So that's where I had to go over in a few spots. So I tried to pick spots where it wasn't going to mix up stuff too much. So then I went through and, um, apologies for my head, but I went, I still can't find my stupid straw. I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I have this Starbucks straw that bent in the wash and I still can't find it. So I had to use, uh, just regular blowing technique to make sure that I had cells forming in the areas where nothing was forming. When I do swirls in ones like these, I always try to pay attention to areas that maybe don't have enough um, cells there so that I don't risk um, messing up my good cells, but I add to uh, the dimension of the, um, the swipe it, or like the pore itself. Um, so after I did my spin, I looked around and I realized that I had a lot of areas where it really needed some extra. And so the only way to really add extra is to go in and squiggle in some extra for yourself. And so that's what I did. Um, it takes a few seconds to actually think about it and like work through where exactly you're going to make your swirls because you're really just wanting to break up the spaces that are missing something. Um, any space where you can see that there's too big of a cell or there is no cells. You go through and you just kind of take a look while you're doing it. Of course, you want to make sure that you pop any bubbles that you come across. 
but so see I'm going in and adding some extra in areas where it's just really too I don't know the right word for it it's just too bleh <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe it it has no definition it's just color and so I went in and tried to add some definition and I think it actually worked really well I need to practice some more but I've found that it's definitely gotten easier as I've continued to try to go in and make up my cells in the areas where it needs something the more I continue to just push through and try anyway so that is my swipe pour um, I'm not sure what to call it 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 other than pretty I actually really like this one I got done and it, it's kind of similar to some of the others I kind of got done and jumped up and down and was a little bit excited because of how pretty it was and how shimmery it was I was trying really hard to show the shimmer I apologize if you almost get like a car sick effect when you're looking at it it's kind of hard to record um, when you're super up close to something without going too fast um, but I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and if you're not already please consider subscribing thank you have a wonderful day